Hello everyone, this is Lian Bing. So today I'm going to show the new feature on Spring Max 1.2. Basically there are two new features. One is called post match. One is bond relationship. Let's talk about one by one. So about post match. What does it mean? So usually uh, sometimes when we do the calculus of the bond chain, we not only want uh, not only want a default result like that, a pretty deadly follow through thing. Sometimes we also want we can manipulate the bond post join the follow through result. What's that mean? Like here, like I say, I wanna sorry, the key lost. So here I say I not only want to follow the bond chain, but I also change the pose. I also want to change the pose to like bend it more. Create some like whatever the twist to reload. So I want it to twist, twist up, and the back. But meanwhile, I still want it the whole bond chain shows the kinds of follow through result. So that's the, what the post match post match will come. Post match will if you click it on, it will read the keyframe you set during the calculation area and trying to make the calculate result match up with the post you made. Okay. So here I do the calculation, I set a bit lower value to show more obvious result. So I do it. And then see it still has follow through, but we're also trying to meet the post you made. And if it's uh, if I set let me reopen the file. So if I set the spring value higher, then it will follow show more uh, spring result, but still show a little bit post match result. Like if I set it higher, like point A, then see he's still kind of trying to match the pose but because it's more soft so it cannot really maybe actually exactly reach that but he's still kind of moving that way so I show another, another example here I have a character what I want to do is I want a character idle of combat idle for a while and then use his tile pony tile maybe to do the attack. So I made some simple pose just on the root bone and no animation or child bone, whatever. I just made some pose to define my attack and then to do the calculation with post match click on. At the beginning, I have follow through, and then it will go to my po the post I defined to do the attack what I want, and then back. And if I set the value lower, then we will get more rigid result to try. It will match up with the exists animation better but will have less follow through result because the value is really low so that's it and next one is the bond relationship so what that mean uh, I'm just open here okay 
So uh, just imagine that's a skirt bone. So fr front, back, le right, left, and then my body in the middle. And uh, usually, if I move one of the skirt bone, the rest of bone will be not be affected. I can do calculating right now. You will see. The value is too low. I need to turn off the post match as well to show that effect. But they can work in together. Try again. See, if I'm moving this bone, or being ca this skirt bone being calculate uh, collision have collision with the leg, the rest of bone will not be affected because they are totally separate. They are they have no relationship each other. But that will obviously break the size of skirt. It's not, it will not feel like a fabric. It will feel like a whatever, something totally no reaction each other. So to solve this issue, I made this function called bond relationship. So what did it do? It's for before that, you need to assign the relation between these bond chain. So you need to pick those bond one by one, follow the order, and click the button. You will see it will create a curve. The curve means this bone being related to each other. Then I create another curve. And then another. So if you if you mess up with the order, then the curve will be kind of messed up. Then you will know that you pick with the wrong order. So you need to delete it and do that to follow the correct order. Make it can be a loop. Okay. And then with the curve in my things, I do the calculation again. See. Those bone, even though they are not being animated on the root bone, they still follow the leader bone's movement. And the any bone, they all reaction each other. Not only this bone leading others, they actually interact with each other. Okay. And uh, the set this thing also can work in with collision. Let me make it bigger. So if if like this this bone be I block this one. Okay. So before the collision the old result you see the f the front and the back one they moving basically the same way because they are on the same area of to this bone. But I want this bone being uh after have collision. Let's just see the result. With collision on and then do the calculation. So this bone being blocked by the collision body and the other bone still can move in follow the movement bone. And as I said they they are not only lead by the first one. They interaction each other. So if at this point I move this one out. Then the leader one will also take effect by that. See. So they they all really uh, have interact to each other. They have no leader and the follower just interact. Let's see another example. So, like this character, simple character has a clothes on the back. I'd make a simple animation here. So, 
what we want to see is especially here we don't want to see the uh, those two bones getting so separated because it's not looks like a clothing feeling we want the the bone can have interact with each other so if I rise this arm this bone and this bone will follow a bit that's how the bone related re bone relation function working for this mesh I pick the bone with the order and then click but here you see something looks wrong like the curve from here to the end but it back to the first because we turn on the close to create a close rim curve then for for this clo uh, closing it's not closed it's just open mesh so we need to turn off the close one and then do again Now it's starting from here and from here, nothing back. Okay. And another layer. And another one. Then another one. Okay. I made they related with each other pretty much. Now I do the calculation. I have no collisions, I turn the collision should be off. See, that's the result. See from here when I rise the arm, all the ball interact with each other. If you think the interaction too much or too less, you can use the tension. The lower with lower tension value, the bone will interact less, and the higher value will make the bone connect each like each other more tight. But the, if it's too much, then also will have like a weird result. So you have to adjust the value slowly to make sure I get the correct result. So I may, right now I make it only 0.3, so it should be less in interactor than before. See, that's uh, much less, but it feels more correct in this case. So you have to play with the value to get the correct result. Okay, that's all about the new function post match and the uh, bond relationship. Enjoy and uh, have a good day. Thank you. Bye.